Global Response Team. Emergency power only, Captain. Radar sonar out. Visibility poor. Scopes? Navigational systems? All down, sir. We're running blind. Then we'll need blind luck if we don't want to run into anything. Come on, folks. It's much safer inside. The Ester deck's clear. Whoa! What's that? I don't believe it! Get inside! That thing's going to collide with... Problemo. This is almost too easy. So far, so good. But the best training exercises always include an element of the unexpected. There's a safety latch, but she doesn't know that. Ah! Ah! Oh. <laughs> this is more like the Billy I know. Hey, you really went out on a limb for this one, Billy! That's the test of a real rescue hero. Someone who's prepared for the unexpected at all times. Like the exercise you gave me, remember? Submerged in icy waters without scuba gear? Oh, I was colder than a penguin's tail feathers. Well, hey, it strengthened your endurance. Or how about that reaction time test where I found myself trapped in quicksand with a very short rope? Yeah, that wasn't a test. Uh, you were just getting on my nerves that day. <laughs> <laughs> Training exercise complete. Right, Billy? You did great, Ariel. And now it's time for Rocky's first solo training exercise. What am I going to have to do? Scale the climbing wall? Pilot the flight simulator during a tornado? Run through the fire maze? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're close, Rocky. You're close. This is it? Sure. Just connect all nine dots with four straight lines, and the pencil can't leave the page. Taking it easy on the rookie, huh? This is gonna be a breeze. One, two, three, four. Oh, harder than it looks, huh? The reason why I picked this exercise is to train you to think outside the box, to look at a problem from a different angle. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. I'd like to put whoever designed this puzzle in a box and send them to Timbuktu. Oh yeah, that's a hard one. Took me almost five minutes. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt your fun. We've got a priority one aqua distress call. A sub to ship collision off the Pacific coast of Australia. The rescue heroes are needed. Looks like the puzzle will have to wait, Rocky. It's go time. <laughs> Aquatic Rescue Command Center, folks. Hi, team. The submarine hit a gas line, causing a fire to break out below the deck. And the flooding means that the crew can't get to the valve to turn the gas off. Any damage to the sub? Don't know. We can't establish radio contact. Gil, Jake, check on the sub. The rest of us will concentrate on the ship. Except Rocky. You'll stay in radio contact and use the schematic maps to guide us along. Two of us for a whole submarine? Oh, I suspect you'll have some help. Nemo, my fine finny friend. Lead the way. Jake, Gil, this is Rocky. I'm ready for your status report. The submarine's evacuation hatch has been jarred. It's going to be tricky to open. And the coral's crumbling. If the bow hits that trench, the sub's air tanks could explode. Rocky, we'll need you to send us the ship's schematics in a few minutes. 10-4, Billy. And maybe when you call, I'll have solved this thing. 
rescue team. Save your breath, crewman. We don't have much air left. We need to speed this up a bit. What about the coral shelf? I'm on it, Gil. Gil, take over. I'll go check on the support beams. How much longer, guys? Only a few more minutes. became a submarine sandwich. Uh, it's no use! Until we shut off the broken gas main, this fire's gonna keep on raging. Wendy, have you located that shutoff valve yet? I'm almost there. Thanks for transmitting the map, Rocky. That's what I'm here for. Now, you're going to have to swim 20 yards down that hallway, bear left, and then 30 yards directly in front of you will be the valve. Copy. I'm on it. Billy, status report. How are you doing down there? Good. Looks like I found some trapped crewmen. <laughs> Sorry to barge in, guys, but we only have a small window of opportunity here. And I mean a really small window. Rocky. We're using a pulley system to move the sub and re-expose the evacuation hatch. Keep trying, guys! Gil! Jake! Come in! We're fine, Rocky. But the submarine won't move. The evacuation hatch is still blocked. What did Billy say? Think outside the box. So how to get these people out of their box? Great, you can't figure out a dumb puzzle and now you're breaking supplies. Wait a sec. Supplies? That's it! They must have a supply hatch! All right! I think I have it! Jake, I found another exit. Every sub has a supply hatch. This one is located at... is if I take my tank off and do a free dive. Copy that. Wendy, it's too far. You'll never hold your breath that long. Oh yeah? What's this? <gasps> oh no! Hope we're still in time to save that sub. We're gonna have to surface soon. You don't have much air. Not until we open the supply hatch. Get ready, Bob. It's your show now. Welcome aboard, folks. It worked, Rocky. We did it. Glad we thought of it. Jack, Ariel, how are you coming along? Fire's out. Well, once Wendy shut off that gas main, we put it out quicker than last week's trash. Good work, team. Let's rendezvous back here at the Aquatic Rescue Command Center. Which should give me just enough time to solve that puzzle. Hey, you've already solved a much more important puzzle. One that saved lives. Yeah, but I still got a training exercise to finish. Eventually. Sometimes, when you're in the middle of trying to solve a problem, it's easy to think that you'll never figure it out. But it's important to keep trying because that's the only way problems get solved. So if you're in an emergency, or in any situation where you're getting frustrated, try looking at it in a totally different way. Even if it seems a little crazy at first, you'll be amazed how simple some things are once you learn to think outside the box. Which reminds me, did you figure out why it's called thinking outside the box? Could it be because the answer to the puzzle is to draw the lines outside the box? You got it, Rocky. That's thinking like a rescue hero. <laughs>